back then I'd meet people at concerts and they'd have like a, an, a perfectly embroidered Celtic Frost logo on the back of their, I'd be like, wow, wow, them, you know. So I didn't really know many people, but I knew them through the concerts of the more kind of the heavy, the heavy metal concerts that were going on in the area by the local bands. And I'd meet, meet up with them and we'd go for a couple of beers or something like that. And then, uh, so oh, I'd come back to mine and play a bit of guitar and, you know, somebody's playing a bit of bass and, you know. Anyway, um, with cancer, um, we had an idea that actually, because I knew Ian, Ian Buchanan, from actually from school. Okay. And we knew Carl. We knew Carl from another you know, uh, from another group. He was playing in another group at the time. And uh, we we heard through the grapevine that he was interested in playing something a bit more extreme. So uh, we set up a jam, you know, and I'll never forget it. So I took my Marshall head and the cab and we set it up and it was in a place called Ironbridge, which is like this historic, historic village where they built the first iron bridge. So it's like a tourist area. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we had a jam. And my, uh, uh, there was something there. My, my, my martial arm went into meltdown and it was never to work again. <laughs> you know, wow. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a, that's a pretty good omen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a good that's, sign. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it was strange because um, from then on, we went, we went to do a... Um, a, a demo so we managed to get two songs together and we went to do a demo in birmingham and i had to use a bass amp to record the guitar oh my god wow yeah yeah so i had to use a bass amp with uh, like a homemade distortion pedal you know courtesy <laughs> of ian buchanan actually so it's like a, that's awesome i don't know how he made it but i mean he, he made this distortion pedal it was all homemade it's very thing. diy yeah, yeah. I just didn't have the. I mean, I had a guitar, but I just didn't have. You know, when you when your amp blows up, and, and it was the only amp. It's like, yeah. What am I going to do? You know. So, you know <laughs> well, so wow. I'd use the bass amp. So that was how so we got quite a sound with it for the demo. I mean, listen to it back now. And it's well, wow. Yeah. You know, yeah, really yeah. More, you know, but sounds was, like a demo. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's that's basically how it started. So uh, yeah, it was very cool. noted. But after listening to those, I mean, I got into, I mean, Metallica came out, and the, you know, the, the Bay Area thrash thing, you know, was 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 coming out, you know, and uh, so it was like the Megadeths, Exodus, stuff like that, you know, it was like very exciting. Nuclear Assault, from yeah, the East Coast and, you know, so we we're, we're all kind of like in with the thrash uh, movement from. You know, from North America, and uh, with the with the Latin Americans, you got Sepultura as well, which was you know, which was quite quite. Brutal, it, awesome. it came over, come, on, come over, and they did quite you know, did quite well, you know, for that, you know. Yeah, they did. You were big into the German thrash scene too, right? Yeah, like Destruction, Sodom. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I think I love love those bands more than the bands love them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I can remember the first time I listened to Sodomy and Lust and, you know, songs like, um, you know, Curse the Gods by Destruction. Yeah. Well, you know, Voivod as well, Killing Technology. It was almost like back then, it was an album every week. No wonder I didn't have any money for any equipment yeah. because I was just like, buying records all the time. So, you know. That's awesome. But every week there was an album, you know, back then, and it was always never disappointed. Yeah. yeah yeah the 80s was just uh, a gold mine yeah. for a lot of these scenes you know and, mm -hmm. and that's interesting and I'm curious like so so you guys like rehearsed you know you you're like all right let's do a thing let's put out a demo so uh who came up with the the name cancer <laughs> yeah we used to we used to knock about. We had. A, we used to hang out with a, a friend from Newcastle. Well, he was from Newcastle. But he lived in Telford, but he had that Geordie accent. Yeah. And he was just. He was. He liked. To, he liked to drink a lot, and he was into. He was. He was great. He was into Judas Priest and ACDC, and so you know we had the rapport with him. And 
He said, why don't you call your band cancer? You'll get noticed. <laughs> you know? And like the more the the more the sauce was going down, the more the drink was going down, we're like, oh man, that's you know, I mean you can look at it one way or look at it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, people are gonna, you know, associate the band and look at us and take a negative you know, perception of it. So, wow, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a brutal name, you know. It was at the time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you do you remember? Do you remember like the first reception, like maybe doing your first gig or whatever, and be like, "Hello, we're cancer." Do you remember like people reacting to that or like telling people like your band name for the first time? Was yeah, there any I mean shock or? With 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 the with the with the heavy metal or the metal crowd, nobody nobody really cared really. We didn't really get any kind of you know people just accepted it. I think. Yeah. The, the classic the classic thing was though. I mean, you go to you know go over to play America. You go and play the Milwaukee Metal Fest. And you take a flight to uh, JFK, and then you take a connecting flight maybe to Chicago or Milwaukee. And somebody is bound, oh, you're playing a band, <laughs> you know. So like, what's the name of your group? <laughs> and you say, well, yeah, it's called Cancer. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. There's no much more. Yeah. There's nothing else happening there. <laughs> oh, well. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You definitely find the, the metal fans in that conversation, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, but, wow. Yeah. Wow. So they see the hair. And you know they think that well, yeah he plays in a band you know you've got to play go and ask him you know go and ask him what's the name of your group cancer yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. <laughs>